Hey guys, guess what? Today, we've got a little something special for you. You know, I come from veterinary medicine and we're gonna go see Dr. Kathleen Deal at Old Town Veterinary Hospital. Today's subject is gonna be all about dogs bloating. If you have a deep chested dog, a large dog, an anxious dog, they're at really high risk. And even medium sized deep chested dogs are high at risk. So I want you to hear what she has to say about how to prevent this, because God knows we don't want anyone to suffer and die from this very preventable situation. Hi, my name is Dr. Kathleen Deal. I am a veterinarian and the owner of Old Town Animal Hospital in Swanee, Georgia. Um, I just want to talk to you for a little bit about dogs and bloating and torsion, which is when their stomach fills up with air and then the torsion would be when it actually twists upon itself. And this is an emergency when this occurs. It does happen a fair amount. It's difficult to say exactly which frequency. There's definitely breeds that are more predisposed. Any deep chested dog. Great Danes are well known for having bloat and, and torsion. Um, anything that's deep chested, all these doodles, all these doodles that are coming out, especially though, not necessarily the ones that are 20 pounds, but you're talking, you know, 60, 80 pound doodles. Mm. They're all deep chested dogs. Standard poodles, where they came from, are known for getting bloat, for known for needing surgery. All those doodles should be tacked, all of them. Um, any deep chested dog, German Shepherd, my German Shepherd is tacked, my Mao will eventually be tacked. <laughs> um, it's all anxiety related. These dogs that are very anxious when they go places are very anxious at home. Um, these dogs that are in high stress situations, which is why you see it a lot in working dogs, those are the dogs that are more inclined to bloat. Older dogs that have other problems. They're under physiologic stress. We only think about stress being a psychologic thing, not a physiologic thing. So illnesses cause stress in the body. You build stress on top of stress and that's when you're gonna have that torsion. And that's when you're gonna have a problem. And you have to catch the symptoms and try to get the dog somewhere, but even so, as soon as that torsion happens, you're cutting off blood supply to portions of the stomach. When you get in there, it's gonna be a matter of how long was that gone? How much can recover? Can you even take enough stomach to make the dog okay? Or do you just get in there, see, you know, the stomach's dead. There's nothing you can do. Whereas that preventative surgery, they can still bloat. They can still get an air-filled stomach, but you can just decompress them. They're not ever gonna torsion. The torsion is the problem. But there's different ways to do that. If you're in there spaying a female dog and it's an at-risk breed, you should automatically tack it. That should be part of it. If you're not, you can open them and you can tack them. You can do a laparoscopic assisted tack where you're just making a very small incision, about four inches. Um, so it's a little bit easier recovery, but it's well worth it, well worth it. And it's about 10% of the cost of if you have to take them to surgery for an actual torsion after the fact, if your dog survives. Some things that you're gonna try to see, might see at home are going to be a very large bloated stomach. It's, it's almost hard to the touch when you touch it. They're trying to, um, vomit but nothing comes up it's like very unproductive sort of retching um, they're not really passing a lot of gas or anything um, they're uncomfortable they're, they'll, they'll be up they'll be trying to move around to try to make themselves more comfortable those are going to be the main symptoms that you're going to see when when your dog is in a situation where it's having to bloat hey everybody i hope you really will become a patron come on join us if you're loving our videos and loving our work, our mission is to have happy people and happy dogs, and we can't do it without you. If you'd like to have some exclusive content, oh, join one of the upper tiers because you're going to get the first view of the new videos, and you're also going to get some Q&As, and I would love to answer your questions, and Josh is going to be here to help too. So, Patreon, click below, join us. Help us, won't you? Join our pack. Join!